Hi everyone, welcome to Jibril Enterprise, where we explore medicinal plants and sustainable agriculture. In today's video, we are going to show you how Wokanga Africana is grown, harvested and processed right here in Africa. that Vokanga Africana, a native African tree, holds powerful medicinal and psychoactive properties and plays a growing role in pharmaceutical research worldwide. Wokanga Africana is a tropical tree commonly found in West and Central Africa. It grows up to 6 meters tall and produces thick green leaves and green fruit with yellowish seeds pulp. for its seeds and root bark, which contain valuable alkaloids like Vokangai, Ibogaine, and Tabasonin compounds used in research for neurological and pharmaceutical applications. Traditionally, the plant has been used for spiritual and medicinal purposes, including treatment of mental disorders, infections, and pain. Cultivating Vokanga Africana starts with the seeds. These are collected from matured open fruits and are dried before being planted in the nursery beds or bags. Germination process of Vokanga Africana from seeds is very easy and may not require pretreatment methods. This germination process has two options. The first option is by planting the seeds direct in individual nursery bags in a shallow depth of about 3 to 4 cm into the soil. Ensure partial sunlight and continual soil moisture. They will start to germinate within four to five weeks after planting. Year germination is sometimes erratical. Due to this, I will recommend the second option to you. germination method is done by broadcasting the seeds evenly on nursery bed as showing. Cover the seeds partially with fine soil and then spread wood dust or mulching material on them. This will help retain soil moisture content and to avoid exposure of seeds during watering. Please water the bed in irregular intervals to help maintain soil moisture. Please avoid ponding. 
to prevent seeds from rotting. They will start to germinate within three to four weeks after planting. Germination of Vokanga is irregular and can be slow. Seeds often sprout erratically with new seedlings sometimes emerging over the course of one to two months. After germination, you can remove the seedlings carefully into individual nursery bags as showing to continue growing. After this stage, seedlings begin to grow very fast and vigorous. Once the seedlings reach a suitable height, they are transplanted into the fold with well-drained soil and good sunlight. The plant does not require intensive care but regular weeding and occasional organic fertilizer help promote healthy growth. About 162 seedlings plant an acre with transplanting distance of 5 by 5 meters. The transplanted seedlings grow very fast and usually take 2 to 4 years to start producing flowers and fruit. In Ghana, the plants start to flower in May and fruit start to mature in July for harvesting. Fully matured pot may crack open slightly on the tree, revealing the yellowish fibrous interior. When harvesting seeds for international market, both crack opened fruits and unopened fruits are harvested. But for planting purpose, only crack open fruits should be harvested. Filled observation revealed that a fully grown plant yields between 2,000 to 3,000 pots. About 110 to 120 pots yield a kilogram of the dry seeds, which gives an estimated yield of 10 to 23 kilograms of a seed per plant or approximately 800 to 1,200 kilos per acre. Seeds are removed, washed, and sun-dried over several days to reduce moisture content and prevent spoilage. After drying, the seeds are either sold directly or processed feather. Some are ground into powder while others are exported for pharmaceutical uses. Proper handling and hygiene are essential at every stage to maintain quality and safety. Wokanga Africana is more than just a plant. It is a livelihood for many rural communities. By growing and selling the seeds, local farmers generate income and support sustainable land use. From its cultural roots to its global applications, Wokanga Africana is a fascinating example of Africans' rich biodiversity and economic potential. Thanks for watching.
If you found this video informative, please give a thumb up, leave a comment and subscribe for more content on medicinal plants and sustainable farming. See you next time.